Make sure to watch till the end and if this video gets 100 likes, I'll do a juicy intro tutorial. What is up guys, it's Lee here and today I'm going to be buying the OPS bundle in Rainbow Six Siege. Alright everybody, this is a tutorial on how to edit like Juicy, the CSGO YouTuber. What we're going to do here is I'm going to start off the video with uh, a zoom. I have a little clip here. You guys probably already saw it at the beginning of the tutorial. So I'm just going to open up After Effects. And while I'm waiting, we're going to uh, get this anime thing right here. So we're just going to type in, let's see, anime, zoom. Oh, hold on. I have to name this uh, a juicy tutorial. I spelled it wrong, I think. All right, anime, zoom on YouTube. So we're going to get this. Actually, hold on. This one right here, much better. Uh, because we don't have to worry about the green screen uh, interfering with anything. We just simply change the blend mode and put it on top of our footage. So I'm going to go to my 4K video downloader. And then now I'm going to go back into After Effects. Full screen that baby. And then I'm going to start off with the, uh, I'm gonna start off scaled in, uh, setting a keyframe like at 150 moving forward, uh, like a few keyframes and then reset it to zero and then select both my keyframes, press F9 and then go into the graph editor, select um, the scale and then I'm gonna change the graph so it's steep at the beginning and flat towards the end. So now I'm gonna get a curve like that and I'm also gonna turn on the motion blur and also, uh, <coughs> our green screen finished download. Well, not green screen. It's just an overlay. So this finished downloading. So I'm just going to put it on into the, I'm going to put it on into the composition. And then what we're going to do is change the blending mode to add so that we get, um, so that it kind of just overlays on top of it. And now the black just goes away. So now what we're going to do is. Uh, keyframe the opacity starting at a hundred and when it goes all the way back uh, when the scale animation finishes I'm going to set the opacity to zero and then I'm also going to select these keyframes and press F9 uh, for a curve and I'm going to make the opacity uh, it's going to fade away slowly at first and then towards the end it's going to uh, just go away super fast All right. Actually, I think um, I need to end it faster. No, no, no. I think what I need to do is actually uh, change the curve like this. So it starts off slow and then it goes fast and then goes slow again. Or maybe something like this. Wait, that's what I had before. So don't be afraid to experiment with different things. I mean, this is pretty much a, uh, a linear curve. Pretty linear. Uh, but I like it better that way. So now what I'm going to do is go over the shake so I already made a tutorial on shakes I'm actually gonna to like, trim this layer and delete the end of it uh, so now I'm gonna make a shake right here uh, so I'm just gonna set a keyframe for the position uh, move forward one keyframe move move this like this I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different this time but um Anyways, I'm just going to start off with the regular shake and then I'll add it on to it afterwards. So I'm going to zoom in too by pressing the plus. Uh, so move forward one keyframe that goes like that. Move forward two keyframes and then you want to just make it closer to the first point right here. Closer to the center every time. And then move three keyframes and then a little bit closer to the center. Uh, one, two, three, four, 
closer one two three four five and then reset the position and then now we have that uh, nice little shake there all right uh, and then we're just gonna add a motion tile um yeah simply just add motion tile change the output height to like 150 until you don't see the uh, edges anymore make sure to put on mirror edges and i kind of i like the shake okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the part where i say what is up uh the ops bundle guys it's lee here and today i'm going to be buying the ops bundle OPS, OPS, OPS. All right, so I see that's at two seconds and 19 frames. So I'm going to go to that part on After Effects. Two seconds and 19 frames. And I'm going to move the shake over there. And I'm actually going to cut this layer uh, <clears throat> in half. So the shake starts on a different layer. And to cut layers, just press Control, Shift, Delete. And... <clears throat> I'm actually going to change the scale of it and the anchor point to go to the OPS bundle, like so it's on the center of the screen. And have this. All right. And we're gonna we're gonna add a glow to this so that um because that's kind of what the guy does. Adds glows to his shakes. Um, yeah, so just add Gaussian blur for the glow. Uh, turn that up a bit. Turn on repeat edge pixels and then change the blending mode to screen. And then keyframe the opacity. Um, starting at 100. And then move forward, like, move forward a bit. And then throw. And then now you have that. Uh, I don't really know if I like that exactly. So one thing that I'm going to do is actually on this layer here, uh, I'm going to change the exposure of it. So I'm going to get the exposure effect. Put that on there. And now we have... Um, the glow is more glowy, I guess I could say. And now that we've done that, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how to add a flicker. So this is how I usually add flicker. So I'm gonna add a new black solid. Uh, I'm gonna cut it off here where I want the flicker to be at and change the opacity to 50. And then I'm gonna Alt, click on the keyframe, uh, type in wiggle. 20 50 so that's basically gonna make the opacity change from 0 to 100 uh, 20 times per second and then I'm gonna pre-compose this layer here and now if I uh, adjust the opacity of the pre-composed layer the flickering will uh, change like how strong it is I was just gonna add a slight flicker so it's nothing too crazy um and i was also asked to show how to do the text i mean i don't really i don't really know exactly what you mean because his text is kind of simple uh he does actually animate his text sometimes so I'll show you uh, an example that he usually uses yellow text. Uh, so I'm just gonna say, what's up uh, guys, guys. Uh, and I'm gonna set this to zero here. Okay, hold on. All right, I'm just gonna change like the distance between the text. I'm actually gonna look at his uh, I'm going to look at his video really quick. He wins, dude. Three cases, $773. Give it to me. Here we go. 
All right, so I'm actually going to decide to make this uppercase. What's what's up, guys? All right, and then I'm going to add a drop shadow. Now I have this here. I'm actually going to change the blending mode to normal, turn the opacity up, and change the size of it a little bit. And also, I'm going to add a motion blur to the text and I'm going to center the text by going to line and going to the center thing and then I'm going to change I'm going to keyframe the scale of the text so I'm going to set a keyframe at the beginning move forward uh, set a keyframe here and then I'm going to go back to the first keyframe and set it to zero and then I'm going to select both of the keyframes and press F9 and <clears throat> here I'm going to change the curve uh, so it's fast at the beginning and slower towards the end. So, oh wait, that is not what we want. All right, so to fix that, all we have to do is go to paragraph and center the text. And now we're gonna line it again uh, to the center of the screen. And we should have this here. Mm. Let me look um look at let me look in Premiere Pro to see what it looks like. What is up guys? It's Lee. What is up guys? It's Lee here and today I'm gonna be buying What is up guys guys it's Lee here What is up guys guys it's Lee What is up guys it's Lee here and today I'm gonna be buying the OPS bundle Alright uh when I render this uh you guys will be able to see exactly how it looks but uh, really, this guy wouldn't, he wouldn't add text right there. Like, it doesn't even look great adding it there. But I just did that, you know, just to show you how uh, he would probably animate it. But um, yeah, I did show you a few things here, like the anime zoom thing, uh, the intro zoom, and the shake glow thing. So I'm going to render this and get back to you guys. What is up guys? It's Lee here and today I'm going to be buying the OPS bundle. Buying the OPS bundle in Ray. Yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to show you guys. I mean, sound effects what is will up, definitely make guys? it Lee look way Lee better. And today I'm going to be buying the OPS bundle. But uh, I think that looks pretty good. And I'll see you guys later.